This is Badarpur, my neighborhood. I walk alone at night through its market and alleyways, sometimes as far as Chandni Chowk or Knot Place, and always in the shadows. Avoid the police. I walk for hours until daybreak or until sleep comes to carry me away. These days, it rarely does. I love to wander in the wee small hours. This is my territory. My bit, the West End lanes, parks, riverbanks. It's not mapped out with visible boundary lines. It's more a sense, a feeling of ease or unease. I imagine it's how a cat might feel. <sighs> I don't know what day it is anymore. Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Tuesday, Monday, Sunday, April, August. When was the last time I wrote something in my diary? January, July. Oh, I can't stand being indoors. It's so suffocating. Even lying under a heavy duvet makes me claustrophobic. All I do all day is stare at the walls or stare at the floor or stare at all the shit flying around on social media. Our cats are always wandering off. But she's always come back after a day or two. Maybe she got fed up with all my nocturnal comings and goings. Got herself a new family. A new name. <laughs> a new lease of life. Or maybe she saw the writing on the wall. Don't kiss your cat. That's the latest thing. Don't stroke your cat. That, that'll be next. And it's fine for them to save their friends and... Before you know it, it'll be, it'll be vigilante squads roaming the Glasgow streets at night, killing cats with catapults. All hours of the day and night, my phone lights up. A message from one of my friends, Deepak, Rohit, Jyoti or Pooja. How are you doing? What's happening? I'm so bored. Me too. You okay? But there's still no word from my best friend Abzal. I haven't heard from him for days. Where are all my fellow insomniacs? Sometimes I hear voices, but when I look... Around every corner, you will find all kinds of creatures going about their business. And where's the wildlife? The creatures of the night? Not so much as a moth battering against a streetlight. There, a dog. And over there, a cow. And up on the window ledge, a monkey. No bats, no foxes, no hedgehogs. <laughs> when was the last time I saw a hedgehog? <laughs> no cats. Elsewhere, there will be a pig wandering around. Or a rat, or a cockroach, or an elephant. Or a human being. Please, Abzal, get in touch. I'm worried about you. The city feels so abandoned. Sterile. That's the word. Sterile. I feel bad burying my head in the sand, but I can't listen to the news anymore. 16 old people die in care home tragedy, somewhere in Scotland. 16 migrant workers found dead on railway track, somewhere in India. I see it most clearly when I close my eyes. How is it even possible for a person to sleep? I focus on the light and fluffy sitcoms, rom-coms, reruns of Radio 4 panel shows, light entertainment, nothing dark, nothing edgy. Pity the shops have shut down. I might have indulged in a bit of retail therapy. Something cheap and cheerful. I can't stop worrying about Abzal. I have heard nothing since the embroidery factory shut down. Or from his little brother and sister. Maybe they have gone back to their village. But it's over 700 kilometers to Bihar. And there are no buses or trains. Even if they walk 24 hours a day, it would take 8 days at least. It would be peaceful here if I could just stop worrying about folk. Lurking in the bushes. Just sit for a wee while. Maybe try and write. Just some wee flight of fancy. Just a, a line or two. 
Imagining is so hard these days. I wish I was a, a dog. I have never seen a dog kill itself when things get too much. There are half a million dogs roaming the city. Nobody owns them. No one is their master. If I was a dog, I would go wherever I please. I would laze around at night by the Yamuna River. And if anyone tried to beat me, I would bite their backsides. And I would hang out with all my loyal dog friends. Kalu, who sleeps under the banyan tree. Julie, who lives beside Durga Mandir. She is so generous. Yesterday I saw her snatch meat from a stall on Lovkush Chowk to share with our friends. We would have a big late night dog parties where we would all run around in a circle chasing our tails and howling at the moon. If I was a dog, the first thing I would do is track down my friend Abzal. That cat on Wuthfin Lane, is that... It's hard to see in this light. I have this sudden urge to say a prayer to, I don't know, whoever, whatever. Oh, it's pathetic, praying for a cat. It's not her. I need to get the hell out of Delhi. Go up to Dharamshala. Breathe fresh mountain air, drink clear water flowing down from the Himalayas. Climb up to the mountain and scream. I don't want to be anywhere. I just want to be on the move. I want to run. <laughs> I'm a terrible runner. I'd literally drop down dead if I ran any distance. But if I could, I'd run for miles. Miles. All through the night, all the way to the top of Ben Lomond and watch the sun rise. I haven't done that since... <sighs> I'm so tired. I'll look for him again tomorrow. He will be fine. I know, he will be fine. Please, let him be fine. I can't sleep in silence. I need sound. Something soothing, bird song maybe. Which birds sing at night? Or a lullaby? Or a cat purring? The sounds of my family calms me. My little cousin, my baby nephew, and everyone. All of them together, laughing and chattering. That song my grandmother sings. Because entire day it was raining. Oh really? Yeah, I many time I made a plan to go out, but I didn't make it. Right. Well, you know, in Glasgow, if I didn't go out because it was raining, I would just never go out. Here we have a rainy season. <laughs> Thank you.